What's up everyone, I'm Twisted and Brown just got revealed for 2XKO, which is a bit unfortunate because just today I was working on a video where I was going to explain why I thought Brown was going to be the next champion revealed, but well, the team of 2XKO beat me to it. And I was gonna say that it was very likely Brom because in the Alpha Lab video, the video where they explain that there will be a public alpha for the game uh, and where they mentioned that one new champion was going to join the game, they showed this uh, character select screen and we can see here that the champions are organized uh, alphabetically, just backwards. So we knew that the next champion was going to be someone uh, whose name starts between Ari and Darius. So already a hint that it could be Brom. And secondly, uh, the 2XKO team posted this image uh, teasing the next champion and I assumed that this light blue color was going to be associated with the next champion. So Brom just made sense. But I was also going to talk about other stuff like Jinx, like Katarina. I was also going to use that video to explain this theory or this prediction that I had earlier this year. So if that's something you'd be interested in, in watching, let me know down below and I'll make a video like similar to the ones that I used to make for LOR predicting the next champions. I would love to do that for 2XKO, even though it's still very early, right? This public version of the game is an alpha, not even a beta yet. Uh, we're still far from release, but I'm excited for the game. It's probably the one thing that Riot is working on that I'm the most excited about, so I want to talk about it. With this being said, let's check out Brom's reveal. I already watched this. It's full of uh, cool references and really, really nice animation. So let's check it out. And right off the bat, we have this interaction between Brom and Ilawi, and I think that this was made specifically for the video, as well as this animation right here, because uh, Ilawi's gameplay reveal uh, also had a similar animation. And just, just look at this. This is. There's so much personality in his animations, right? This is just, uh, this isn't gameplay, but like, look at his attacks. Like, okay, shield swings, but now he's doing push-ups with one finger, and then he's laying on the, on the ground. Like, how cool is this? Like, so far, in my opinion, Braum has the most personality in the game. Like, it's, it's not even a competition, like, this is just so good. Like, look at him. God, you can tell I'm excited. <laughs> oh, and you, you can see here the Captain Falcon slash Ganondorf down air. I'm pretty sure. And we can see here that his shield is covered in ice. I assume that's one of his gimmicks. He's doing the push-ups again. And he's surfing on the shield because obviously that's what Brown does. And he has the poros. The poros look a bit weird, I have to say. Like, they got that Among Us body type. They're not as round. Maybe because they are like standing up. But I think like their legs are a bit too big. Right? And these should be on one of his like uh, supers. And I think this is probably based on his ultimate in league, right? A bit different, but probably based. On that. I, I think this is probably his taunt or maybe some kind of like uh, animation that plays when there's a timeout on, or when he wins the round. One of those animations. And here this is probably his main gimmick, right? Creating a shield that gives like super armor and then you can like use the ice from the shield, like the ice right now is on the shield but he's going to use it to freeze the opponent. I think that's a cool gimmick. And he has some kind of like... Captain America-like dash? Maybe I'm mistaking. But that's what it reminds me of. Or maybe like just a Falcon Punch too. But yeah, then we have here the Mighty Portal from LOR. Really cool to see LOR being mentioned at all. <laughs> And we can see here, oh, I didn't even notice that before, but Brom has the ice and the ice doesn't last forever. It disappears. Also, I love this little animation right here, the I-5 between Brom and the Poro. And then like Brom 
shakes his hand as if the portal like hurt him. But I, I think that's what it's supposed to be, but the animation is cut short uh, because they changed the clip to something else. But yeah, he's like shaking his hand. I, I like to think that Brom is just like pretending that the portal hurt him or something. Or maybe the portal did hurt him. That would be even funnier. And now we have here a raging demon or a, a raging portal, a, an angry portal, not sure what to call it. But I'm pretty sure it's like a reference. Maybe it's not the specific reference, but it de definitely feels like it. Like, I don't know what this animation is. This might be his victory animation. And I think they don't even like show it fully. Because, like, Brom has the the snacks, he throws it in the air, and then he throws the Poro in the air, and I assume the Poro is going to eat it, but they don't show it. They don't show it. They transition into another animation, which I'm not quite sure where in the game it is supposed to be used, right? It could be just made for the teaser, just like the first couple animations that we see in this trailer. That could very well be the case, especially because there's also this one. Is this supposed to be like the continuation of this one, maybe? I'm not sure. Like, there's, they are definitely splicing up animations together here, and I'm not quite sure where in the game they are supposed to be used. Or maybe this is just one of his supers? Maybe he's like uh, level one or something? I don't know, either way, as I said, I think this is the character with the most personality so far. Uh, and besides that, we also got a brand new stage, which surprisingly, it's a Bilge Rider stage. The last one that they revealed was also a Bilge Rider stage. So it's definitely interesting considering that we've only have, what, four stages counting this one? And two of them are already from Bilge Rider? Uh, with so many regions yet to be represented, even in terms of champions, right? Uh, I'm surprised to see another Bilge Rider stage. I was expecting them to at least have like one per region before having doubles. But maybe they are working on like two per region or something and we just haven't seen. Again, this is very early into development still. This is an alpha, not even a beta. Uh, but yeah, I believe this stage is based on the Baru. And we can see here, uh, I forgot the name, the Serpent Colors. I'm not sure if that's the name, but I'll put it on screen. Uh, this is based on concept art uh, for the Build Water region. And also I think overall just having Ilawi and Brom together, first of all, and then together on a Build Water stage, a clear reference to the Ruin King game. And we are close to having like the full cast of the game into XKO already. We are missing Misfortune, who I think is very likely coming to the game, and we're also missing Pike, which I don't think will be in the base roster, uh, depending how, on how big the roster, the initial roster is, mostly because I think Pike is one of those champions that when he's released, he brings in new people or returning players, right? It's like a Biken for Guilty Gear or, or an Akuma for Street Fighter, right? A very popular champion that you don't put in the initial roster just so people can like come back to the game to play with them. But yeah, I was uh, expecting Brom to be a grappler, mostly because he has pants, muscle and no shirt. And if you look at grapplers in fighting games, that's kind of a trope. Like you have King, uh, the other King, Mike Hager, Zangief, but he seems to be more of like a supportive slash tank maybe? I'm not sure if tank is really a term used in fighting games, I don't think so. Uh, but he definitely seems very supportive because he has a shield which can block for your ally. Uh, he has the freeze as well, which is crowd control. So I think they did an amazing job translating him uh, into the game. So yeah, that's it for Brom. Again, let me know down below if you'd be interested in seeing a video of me talking about theories and speculation for the roster of 2XKO. I'm really excited for this game, so I really want to make content about it. Uh, I haven't been able to make many videos because I've been busy with college, but I'm finishing that very soon, so I'll be back making videos if, well, there's something to talk about. Right now, it, there's not much happening in terms of lore, uh, LOR, or, well, league in general. 
that I'm super interested uh, in talking about. So it might just be the best opportunity I have to talk about 2xscale. If I missed anything, let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.